What's up guys? Welcome to just another beer review. This is episode 42, I guess. Tonight we're drinking a lager. Now, if you remember my last video, I talked about lagers and how it's not a style, but a, a group of style, a family of style. Um, tonight the style is a Zwickel. This is from um, a brewery called Bruch. They are based in Saarbrücken, in Germany. So um, yeah, a Zwickel is a lager, obviously. It's a bit cloudier than a Helles lager because um, they do much less filtering. So you've got some particles floating around in the beer. And um, yeah, it's generally more cloudy and hazy than a Helles lager or a Pilsner or, you know, something else. So yeah, let's open it. I've got my screwdriver. <laughs> Smells good. <laughs> Beautiful color. Yeah, it's, you know, it's not too hazy actually. It's pretty clear, but it's not as clear as a Helles lager would be. Nice carbonation. Yeah, so <clears throat> the beer comes in a light straw, gold, golden color. A lot of carbonation. A lot of bubbles rolling up the side of the glass. I don't know if you can see it. Beautiful. Okay, so a lot of bready citrusy sweetness yeah it's it's um it's really you know that citrusy piney a bit not like piney bitterness but piney uh citrus yeah and um sharp sharp and and uh yeah fresh zesty zesty that's the word zesty Some hints of tangerine and orange. You've got some some yeast as well. Some, you know, hints of yeast. Yeah, let's begin. Cheers. This is a style that I love. It's very cool. You can also call this a Kellerbier. It's basically the same style. So yeah, a lager that is that is a bit cloudier than a Helles lager. Um, and oftentimes it's, you know, it has a bit more, more flavor than a Helles. Um, it's delicate. It has a very light bitterness. It's citrusy, it's zesty, it's very refreshing. And um, yeah, the mouthfeel is just perfect with that carbonation, that really thin carbonation. Again, some tangerine on the palate. Yeah, you know, those beers aren't the most complex or, you know, the most elaborate beer you can have, but very often they're really good. They they are straightforward, but, you know, in a good way. Um, you don't have to, you know, think about the beer too much. You just drink it and enjoy it. And yeah, this one is really, really good. Um, it comes in at 4.8% ABV. Oh yeah, so this one is brewed with hops, but also hop extract. So I guess that's a downside, but um, you know, it's no IPA, so I guess it's not too much of a problem. Yeah, tiny bit of sweetness. I think if the beer warms up, the sweetness will be much more present. But here in the beginning, you've got a lot of fruity citrusiness and um, 
yeah, and just that sharp, zesty citrus. And um, yeah, I think um, I think I'll call it a day. This one, um, what should I rate it? This it's always the question: How do you rate a beer? Do you rate a beer because it's good, or because it's you know it's a good beer for this style, or if you compare it to something like I don't know. Um, the best IPA you've ever had is does it compare or not so that's always a bit tricky um, for a Zwickel you know it's a really really good Zwickel but like it doesn't compare to a 8% double dry hopped New England IPA um, yeah there's just no match but um, yeah I won't go into a rant right now I'm just going to rate this one Let's give it a three. Let's go with three out of five for Bruch Zwickel. A really good beer. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you know this beer already. And don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.